Hey guys, if you haven't already heard the buzz, well, old is new again. And I am so excited today because I've got three tasty new directions that I am, woo, screaming about, and you're gonna love them. <laughs> Now, are you ready to get your Outlander on? That's right. Number one is what I call New Colonial. And yes, it was definitely inspired by the Outlander TV show. Ooh, those moody, gorgeous rooms on that home on the ridge, lovely. Now, when I say colonial, we are actually talking federal or Georgian, guys. It's these houses that you see everywhere up and down the eastern seaboard of the U.S. and all the way through to almost the Rockies. This was a huge style statement then. This is sort of a fresh take on this. I absolutely adore Providence blues, green come in, soft white. If there is a white, it's kind of an eggshell or a golden warm white. Cause you know, they didn't have very sophisticated hues then. So the paints were milk based, a lot of them. And so they got these kind of thicker hues that had a lot of pigment to them. They just make rooms look fantastic. Another thing that you see with this style is definitely a bit of a minimalist approach. You can kind of see that there's some decor included, but you know, it tends to lean towards the shaker, the Amish, the simplistic pieces that were actually part of the period. So this new colonial is easy to get. Number one thing is paint is your buddy here. You wanna think about the blues, you wanna think about greens, maybe from this period, or maybe an iteration thereof, some of the whites, but very aged cream off-whitey. If you have wood-like floors, keep them. That's what they had, they were great. And of course, any antiques that you've got, hang on to them. They were definitely used, and you wanna keep the reupholstery in sort of similar notes that were at the time. You can see that nothing really pops out and screams at you. That's because this was all sort of period and of the capabilities of what they could do with the dye stuffs at that time. Super lovely and a new fresh way to look at transitional. The next one is an absolute treat. It's almost my favorite, and it virtually made me pass out when I saw it. And I'm calling this one Dutch Modern. Have you ever wanted to live inside a masterpiece painting? A Dutch masterpiece in particular? Well, this is the style for you. Why? Because the entire movement is inspired by the Dutch masters. Think Rembrandt, Van Dyck, Vermeer. The entire light story that is epically depicted by these magnificent paintings is how this translates into a new fresh take on a transitional look. Honestly, when you look at this, it's a little moody, crisp. It sort of feels like those beautiful lace collars over those black robes that were so common in the period. And again, the play of light and dark is very, very carefully balanced as it is in these glorious paintings. I simply adore this black and white one with a little bit of the leather sofa happening in there. This is such an amazing statement. Now, it does help if you have a little bit of an architectural direction that speaks to Dutch colonial, but if you don't, you can absolutely study certain planes like they have done with this particular image where they've kept the rest of the room white, the fireplace becomes that dark point that absorbs all of that light right there. So this can definitely be done with less architectural statement than you saw in the first image. Another popular thing is kind of the use of those colors that arrived with those Dutch colonial materials, like the natural red tiles or the black and white flooring. That was huge, of course, as you can see in this Vermeer. Natural colored leathers 
And then added to that is layered those exquisite pops of color, like this beautiful blue of the most famous painting, Girl with the Pearl Earring, or some of the yellows or some of the little bits of green that you find in these glorious paintings. Now, to get this, what I'm calling my new favorite look, you're going to be working with a richer palette again, but it's a very definitive black and white story. Charcoals and off-whites, it's definitely going to be in there as opposed to the New Providence blues and that direction. You're going to add a touch of the warmth of those older Dutch materials, like the natural leather, wood floors, wood beams, that kind of thing. Keep it definitely on the minimalist side. They did not have a lot of decor here. Then finish it with pops of of color in paintings and or art that definitely brings that life and that realism that was being depicted for almost the first time in art by the Dutch masters. Next up in this little trio of tasties is Grandpa Chic. Now, you know, we have Grand Millennial. It's super feminine, it's uber formal, it's very sort of soft, light, pretty, happy. So imagine Grand Millennial meets Grandpa and goes to the country club, okay? Now the country club feels a little bit more masculine. It feels a little bit richer, darker. There's more guy stuff happening. <laughs> so think rich, dark colors. Think super saturated leathers. Tartan wall covering. That's a fun one. And the great thing about it is that it's super fun and majorly eclectic. So whatever odd little collections you may have that aren't prissy and fussy are definitely going to fit in great with Grandpa Chic. I like it because it feels like you know, a men's bar married to a country club with a little bit of twist thrown in that's kind of fun and soft. This one's also easy to get and paints a big player with this one, as you can see. There's definitely dark notes brought in, like I love how they added the dark charcoal to the fireplace and the two nice chairs out in front, or kind of a big overstuffed leather sofa with some brighter pillows on it. This is very sort of eclectic, fun feeling, a little lighthearted, like your grandpa. You'll want to include some leather touches for sure, and probably a trip to the thrift store because you're going to want to take a look at what they have that's eclectic that you can add to the mix. Uh, a set of used antlers, maybe an old photograph of something. This has definitely got a little bit more of a decor style to it that is open-ended, eclectic, and fun. Now, think of it as a space your grandpa would be comfortable in. Kind of a mashup of country club and dark academia light. Now, guys, next, what you want to do is go check out Design Space because it is now Design Club 2.0. And we've got all kinds of fabulous new tools in there that you can use to do your design projects just the way you want them. Oh, and be sure to check out my Design Styles playlist, and I'll see you soon.